How's it going, Legends? Welcome back to the Happy Mac Podcast, your number one four driving destination podcast in Australia. Um, I'm your host, Hey Big Mac. Uh, before we get into today's episode, I just want to make a special mention to our sponsors, LJ Fab and Hamptons Media Services. We also want to thank everyone who is listening, viewing, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, following, uh, rate us five stars on Spotify. It's greatly appreciated. It helps heaps, guys. So thank you. On today's episode, it's going to be a good one. You. Righty, yeah. How's it going, legends? Welcome back to the podcast. It's been a pretty quiet two weeks since we sort of sat in the bloody office and filmed one. Obviously, you would have seen last week's episode from Wheel Boys. It was pre-recorded with myself and Andre. Um, and then this week, I'm back from holidays, and fuck me, there's been some fucking head noise going on. We're back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're oh, back. Good hell. If you name it, over the last two weeks, it's fucking happened. Oh, it has, hasn't it? We have yeah. A lot has happened. It. Yep. So, a lot has happened. Yeah, no, fucking thanks to everyone that's fucking sent us a message, buddy. All your thoughts and prayers about accounts and shit like that, <laughs> and whatever the else is going on, and giveaway details, and keeping on our backs for episodes, and yeah, buddy, appreciate everyone's support. It, it means a lot when we're sitting there dealing with all the worst of the worst you can probably go through yep. on a social media <laughs> level, and then, yeah, you've got all you guys backing us up. and It's unreal. Yeah, so we'll get into a bit of everything today. We've got a Got a lot to go through and touch on, and this is a big list. Big yeah. list we've got to go we've through. Got a big list of details. So. Yeah. So we will start off with the main one. <laughs> that yeah. We're just be talking about. So the big one that everyone's saying, if you're on social media, Instagram, the, my account, my main account, twenty something thousand followers, twenty point five k, yeah, got suspended by Instagram. The dogs. Oh. <laughs> so, it was a shit show. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that at twenty k. Oh fuck. Like you seen it, and I was fucking. I messaged all the boys straight away, and I was, up, I was like, "Well, fuck." If you were up before like, me in that morning. I was like, "Mac is messaging me. This is not normal." Yeah, no. account being deleted. I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, fucking. Oh, it was, it was all happening, but I was just like, "Fuck!" Like, what are you doing? I was just sitting there, like, "Oh, well, that account's gone. I'll just start the next one." Like, this. I woke up and it's I was heartbreaking, it. but I just seen. It, I was like, "Fuck!" I was like, at a point, where I was like, "I've done some solid effort to get the account where it is. <laughs> just gonna relax a bit, chill on it." And then just fucking bang. I was on reels. I was watching reels. And then yeah, just that's what you said. You logged me out, reels. gone. I was like, went to log back in, can't suspend it. I was like, you fucking kidding me. So it was only just suspended. Yeah. So Do you know how long it was suspended for? It said up to 180 days. Oh. And if nothing's done, if nothing's done, then it removes the account permanently. Holy Jesus. And then, yeah. So some fucking absolute ninja wizard, he calls himself. Messaged me on my new account that I started up. Ninja Wizard. <laughs> and yeah, he's, he's got it back. So as you listen to and when we're recording this, it's my account's back public, but I don't have but access you to don't it. don't have access to it, yeah. So we're working on that. We should have it back in the next couple of days. So Fingers crossed. Yeah. Once again, I need login details and all that shit back. But From the man from Turkey. Yeah, fucking. Ninja Warrior. Oh, fucking. <laughs> it was the... The wildest conversation I've ever had with anyone to fucking get an account. Deal back. with that shit. Like, I'm surprised you're dealing with someone with Turkey, not from Instagram direct. Well, he just messaged me. Like, I had some bloke lined up and he was like, Yeah, we'll send you this invoice, all the details, you pay that. Then we start chasing your account down. I've gone, Oh, this is. Nah, that's like, that's sus. It, I'd assume that's how it sounded like it was one of the main, um, like, rated things on google for like, oh, like proper reviews yeah, right, okay. like, i actually looked it up because i was like i'm not getting scammed fucking twice <laughs> but yeah he's he got it this bloke he ended up like all right if i get the account back you just pay me yeah i was like fuck here we go what's it gonna be yeah and he's just like yeah so still working on that i uh, think it, it but, ended up being like 300 bucks so. oh that's all right not, like three gr- not three sweet. grand or something oh yeah fuck that. that's what i was waiting for the, I, the, the four zeros at the end well i, I was sitting there i was <laughs> like zeros. If I've got to pay any more than a thousand bucks to get this account back, I'm happy to lose the account. Yeah, see, like, you shouldn't have to pay that much to get an account back. It's, I don't know. But you know what accounts should have? They should have like a backup, like password and some. So just in case someone does hack it down the line, you can get you into can your get settings in, or something. Like oh, you that. can do it like a two face. Oh, you can do the no, two face. No, you can do your two factor authentication. Or yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. And I had yeah. all that, but I don't think that matters to Instagram if they're going to remove your account anyway. Yeah, if someone reports your account. Yeah, yeah, that so. is true. And the only thing we know is that someone has reported it. Someone's reported it that it is already verified and has over 100,000 followers. So we're trying to figure out that out. And I said to him, I said, I don't care if I get the account back. 
Yeah. I just want to know who recorded it. <laughs> so I, I, I'd pay more money for <laughs> finding out who recorded it than to actually get the account the get back. back. Yeah. Like, yeah. So that's going to be an dog. interesting one. Did you dirty? Yeah, fucking. You did you real dirty. Yeah, so. And they'll take that seriously because it's a verified account with over 100,000 yeah. followers. Yeah, it's fucking a bit of a shit fight, so. Yeah, I apologise, Macca. It's just with yeah. my nose, man. I'm a bit crook. Yeah, I think everyone's catching it. It's that time of year. It's that time of year again. again. No, it's just, it, well, even starting that other account. So while we are away, the Instagram podcast account mm-hmm. hit a th- went over a 1,000 followers. Ooh. And everyone got the second account that I made, the Haiti Mac four underscore 4x4. Four. Four four four. Four. Yep. He's got that to like 1,200 followers in like a couple of days. I was yeah, like, I saw that. holy That's shit, sick. I was stoked. So it was good to see like genuine interactions coming back in. Everyone sending their like well wish like messages and all that sort of stuff for yeah. support. It was bloody unreal. So everyone with a bit of advice and that as well. So no, nah, she was bloody good. Yeah. But, yeah. So obviously everyone knows a giveaway. Oh, the giveaway. There's so, a heaps of giveaways at the moment. There is giveaways everywhere at the moment. It's but giveaway galore. <laughs> first up, we got my giveaway that was on that account. Mm. It got taken down. It just turned everything into a shit show. So um, Hyde Country actually took it like on their own accord, didn't even say anything to me. Yeah. They've just they basically collaborated their part of the giveaway. The on, post on their – I yeah. saw that on their actual um, Instagram yeah, page. just yeah, to yeah, try yeah. and help boost it back up. Like I was actually so surprised with just in general all the brands that have – Still decided to back everything, even though, like, you know, you can't offer the big support that you do have when you've got 20,000 followers and you're reaching half a million, do- half a million accounts each month. But, oh. like, yeah, for the giveaway details, I think we're just sort of in a black spot at the moment. Yeah, at until you f- really get the account back. Well, I think at first I said, if I don't get the account back, the giveaway is gone because I you can't do anything with it because it's already started. It's already gone live. You sort of yeah, just got to stop yeah, it. it. Yeah. It doesn't make sense with an Instagram with 1200 and then. Yeah. Well, it's not fair on some of the brands that pump in the money and they wanted it. It's, um, it's advertising and it's like, it's viewer, like followers, everything. Like there's a reason why they've jumped on for a 20,000 follower giveaway, not a 1000 follower giveaway or whatever. Yeah. hundred percent. So, no, it's at the moment, it's looking like if we get the account back, the giveaway will just, will run from where it just took off. So it'll just be backdated. Yeah. Those extra few days, extended that period, whatever it takes place, or we'll just continue where it left off. Yeah. And yeah, I think we can only go from there. Of course, I've got to make sure that all the brands that were involved in the first place are still cool still with keen. what's going on. Yeah. Because, yeah, it can freak some people out, that's for sure. So. 100%. Yeah, fucking. It's all going It's on. happening. It's all happening. <laughs> There's a lot to go through. There's a lot to go through. I'm just looking at that. It's like, oh, my God. Yeah. What do you reckon about it all? Yeah, I think it's so. I think if you once you get the account back, just add the days that were missed yeah. and just add, add it on to it. I reckon that's the mm. easiest way to do it. Um. Yeah, or, I don't know. Or I can't. We just keep the original just, deadline. Yeah, yeah, we just keep it on the deadline. Yeah, so. yeah. No, it's a it's a fucking. It's tough a hard. One. That's a hard one because you don't really know what what you're gonna do or when you're gonna get it back. And, yeah, know. I was looking so bloody forward to it too, like giveaway. And yeah, that. it's a bloody awesome giveaway. It's huge. Oh, it's massive. Win some free stuff. Yeah, well, that's it. So everyone loves winning free stuff. Um, oh geez. Jesus. Whoa. <laughs> um, we'll drop a bit down. Squeaky to, from not using them for two weeks. <laughs> drop down to the other one. <laughs> There's giveaways everywhere at the moment. There is, eh? Hey, there's, uh, what have, I got Hayden, Hayden's 80 LC. I think he's got a giveaway going as well, for 20K giveaway as well. Really? Yeah. He's got a 20K giveaway. True. Wait, think, who's. Hang on, I think, I'll get it up. I'm pretty sure it's. Double check. Hold on a second. <laughs> hold on. We're just hold checking. On, hold, on, hold on. But yeah, there's giveaways everywhere at the moment. And I think it's a touchy subject for the giveaways because everyone's going on. How, how do you... The sorry, biggest question... Eddie Cruiser, Logan Moss. Oh, Logan. Logan. Oh, of course. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Logan. Yeah. Yeah, no, check out buddy Logan's... You know, 20K giveaway. giveaway, 20K yeah. giveaway. He's got his brand wheeler now. It mm-hmm. actually looks pretty it sick. It looks sick, yeah. So, no, he's... Go check out his giveaway. We've got your 10K giveaway. Yeah, that's... Uh, We've got five days left. We'll have five days left to enter. Hurry up. So, so comments. So when this is live, you'll have four days? Four days. Yep, yep. So Ooh. comment or your friends. Share us for a few extra entries. Entries are unlimited. And That's we it. draw it on the 1st of August, which is next Monday. 
shit, yeah. Yeah, and it'll be on a live. So join in the live stream. We'll have we have six prizes pretty much. That's sick. Yeah, yeah that's so good. That, so sick. six prizes, six winners, or yeah, six prizes, six winners. That's sick. And you can pretty much we'll go from the biggest to the smallest. Yeah. At the start. Yeah. And then we'll post everything on Instagram. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah it'd be sick. Uh, and then I want to win that free two seventy awning. <laughs> no winner I'll just sell it back to you yeah. I don't even have an awning I'm on the car at the moment Well that's the other thing With giveaways How do you run them Like I mean I give everyone Fair entry I sort of said like Anyone can enter Besides family Yeah I don't know that's, Like rules and Yeah it's like, hard to it, do rules With a giveaway Because you, know, you get all your friends mm. Commenting And just like Oh dude Yeah And like obviously you, you give back to the people That support you And some of your friends Are the biggest supporters 100% got, like, Everyone knows Someone in this industry Like the last giveaway I ran for, I think it was 15,000 followers. Mm. They were three boys, local boys from the sunny coast. That oh, I yeah, knew. I remember that because I, I was here when they picked it all yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, And yeah, I was I just like, that. at the end of the day, they're not they're not my best mates, but they're boys I know and they're supporting me. Like, I see them liking them posts and sharing yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. We saw them up at DI when we were up there yeah, up yeah. as well. Yeah, so I do remember that. I mean, it's hard to pick it that way because I know with, like, you've got your LMTC and all that. I don't think they can actually have family... Enter them because it's a money thing and yeah, I don't know all like, legal. I don't know how Adrian and all them do that. Yeah, it's all weird. those cars ones. It seems to be a massive thing now, a massive business. Well, I've got a mate. <laughs> I've got a local mate and call him um, uh, Oz Tomato Group, mm. and he does like motorbike giveaways, vintage bike giveaways. Yeah, all that. yeah. He was telling me like all the details behind actually like how like people complain like oh this is rigged, this is rigged. There's so much scrutiny around like all the legal side of it how it's got to be drawn how it's got to be done yeah like, you cannot fuck with that shit because it's it's basically fucking with the lottery mm, like literally if is. you got scam if you got done scamming the lottery you're fucked <laughs> <laughs> like, i could only imagine you're fucked like, do, well, you, some people I, i've read books that some people have worked the lottery out yeah. by numbers oh, fuck and they've, they've literally got the ticket written their numbers down that i think they're going to head up next and boom yeah People think it's random. I don't think it's random. No, I think there's a there's a qu there's a sequence and a code, and people need to figure it out. Someone needs to tell me. Someone needs to tell us, <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah. Please, any um, smarters out there, tell yeah. us how to tell us how to rig it. <laughs> um, Sam's got his giveaway as well. The Sam, 80, yep, the Sam, van cruiser, van cruiser. That yeah. is a huge giveaway. Yeah. Um, and Maddie just give, gave his handed his keys yeah. over. So I'll make the Explore Life giveaway for the. 79. 79, yep. Just Buddy. handed the keys over. Given away and gone. So, yeah, no, Sam's got his 80. That's a sick 80. That would be a like, sick yeah, thing to win. It's looking cool. That would be unreal to uh, win. Another one. I don't, I just love it, buddy. Blacked out. Nice. I love how he did the black. Yeah, yeah I loved it. So, no, it's everyone's, good. everyone's getting on the black trend. Yeah. he's But he's done his giveaway different too. What's he doing? Well, it? he's done it the same as how, like, Matty done it. Like, you got to buy a shirt. We, we did it through followers and whatnot. Yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. had to support an account. It's like it was sort of a free entry giveaway if that makes sense like there's no money involved whereas they're like you go to their website you buy a shirt or hat or i don't know jumper whatever it might be you yeah. get entered into the giveaway yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it makes sense when you're talking about a car that's potentially 100 150 dollars worth yeah like you've got to have some way to be able to recoup some of that money. some of that money yeah exactly so and it's an incentive to basically go enter the giveaway and buy some merch exactly like, yeah Everyone else over in the States and that that I see doing it, like um, Claire's McFarlane, all those boys, yep. like um, oh, Heavy um, heavy D, Sparks, um, Diesel Brothers, they Diesel all do brothers, it. Diesel Brothers, yeah, yeah. You buy something off their website, you go into a draw to enter a giveaway for a truck. Like, that's a way to it's do it. It's pretty sick, yeah. So It's a good way to do it. Uh, different. But Apparently we good. had our website up and going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's the other one. I've got to start getting merch and that sorted and yeah we got that. We're, we're getting back on the merch train yeah buddy. start some of that up i've got to design a few things first yeah it just takes yeah. time eh? that's the thing i just don't have time on the weekends really to sort that i'd rather go camping yeah yeah, yeah well, then it's, it's a it's a type of like thing where you sit around the campfire and just like speak ideas and then go oh that's a good idea yeah and yeah, then write I'd, it down then actually put it my notes list is just full of random yeah. shit literally like, is just, hey all the like stuff 300, that I think of. 360 notes of just Random mm. shit. Yeah. What business ideas? Yeah, I'm going through at the moment. Like, I'm um, going back through Hamptons to get some more logos done just for yeah. like, me and Andre, Andre's logos, so I can use them for YouTube. Yeah. And for himself. Um, 
and then my logo i'm trying to get updated to the yurt how it's currently sitting yeah so like still run both logos but then you'll have like my old logo which is now done mm-hmm. and then yeah buddy just more logos get it ready for everything else so. well, that's pretty, that's a pretty good question to ask you are you gonna even if you get the account back are you gonna reset it like restart type of thing what do you like mean all your logos and stuff a little bit so like update the logos for sure yeah yeah so. even when you get the account back yeah yeah cool yeah so no just and try and get it verified we should go into that a little bit i've got that written down as well verification you're gonna pay well i don't know it seems after we just bagged out everyone that paid for well it. i fucking still bag it out <laughs> and that's it this is like probably a loaded question really because yes. like so after obviously the account was deleted I got hundreds of messages and just random ones from people like saying, hey, if you've got verification on your account, Instagram actually goes to the effort to help you where it's yeah. it's almost like you get put in the next level above to like priority where you will actually be respected and looked after. Can for, you can you get your account verified without paying still or do you have to just pay can, for now? You can, you but it, I've heard it's very hard. It's very hard. Yeah. 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 And I mean, it's just one of those things like some of the people that I've talked to that have had their account removed that have paid for the verified subscription, they've all said to me like it was sold within a day. Wow. And I was like, that's manageable, but I think it's like 25 bucks a 25 month. 25 bucks a month, yeah. Like, like you, it's a yeah. lot of money. Like I paid 25 bucks a month for me YouTube and Spotify subscription. <laughs> <laughs> like, so. It's total is 50 for Spotify premium, yeah. isn't it? A month? Um, yeah, twelve fifty or something. Twelve fifty like a month for Spotify. Yeah. Jesus, twenty five bucks a month. Yeah, and I mean, like, I I looked into it because you can go into your settings on your Instagram and it's, it's like Meta verified and yeah. see how it's done. You can't get it for a business account. Oh, so you have to pro- change it back to personal. Personal account. You have to have your legal name on there. They've got to verify your ID. So oh. if I've got my account as Hey Big Mac, you can't. I can't you verify can, you can. it. Yeah, right. So. That's sort of where, like, if anyone knows, like, it'd be interesting to see how to get past that. But Like, change it for that, verify it, then change it back. But well, you have to wait 30 days to change your username and everything 14 back. days. Was it 14 days? 14 days. Yeah, 14 but days. The, the one I looked for was podcast Instagram account. I wanted to verify that just so it had yeah, yeah. meaning behind it. And yeah. it was like, it's a business account. It's under an ABN. I can't do it. Yeah, wow. I didn't I've know got, that. It's got to match my government ID or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully they figure out a way around that or something. But Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, because I don't exactly want to have... Like, a lot of people know my legal, legal name. Yeah. I don't exactly want it to be just plastered in front of Facebook yeah. and Instagram and everything. So it's... I don't know. It's that's one of those hard. things. It's it's tricky. It is so. very tricky to decide which one you want to do. Yeah, so keep it for now and let's hope it just keeps rolling and we can get yeah. it sorted. Let's get it sorted, so yeah. Just... It's just a waiting game, really. So. Which yeah. is. Um, you got anything to add to that? Verifications, all that shit? I'll just wait till I'm ready. <laughs> wait till ready. I'll wait till all time's ready yeah. and then I'll apply for it. Yeah. I, 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 I just want to get the business and like websites, everything set up, like a shop. And... Yeah. Like that's like, that's the last thing on my mind at the moment. Yeah. Until something happens. Fingers crossed nothing well, happens. That's but, it. Yeah. Touch wood. But Hampton's Media, he lost his account the other day yeah. too. Yeah. Sean lost his, lost his yeah. account. Yeah. See, so it's going around. It's just, and I don't know how you control it. Like, I, what do you do? No I, one's getting warnings. Like, you no, meant to that's get what I mean. Like strikes short, and warnings, and there needs to be like a like a like a strike system put in place. Like, oh, there's three yeah. strikes, you're gone. But for a certain time, an obvious strike. Like, if you log into Instagram, like, I don't know how the fuck they're sending these strikes out. If you are getting them, because I haven't seen one. Yeah, I've seen things that are like, oh, you've received a report on your account for copyright music or whatever. Yeah, yeah, obviously and, they're, and they're, the, they're the main just, ones. The post will just get taken down or yeah. something. But I've had one or of them Or the sound before. removed. I have, We've had a lot yeah. of the sounds removed on ours. But for like, yeah, you get sound removed. Oh, sweet. But you need it something like you log in Instagram. It comes up with a yes or no or agree or disagree. You've had a strike against your account. Do you want to peel it? Do you want to yeah, abide so by it? Idea. Do you want to remove? Like... It has to be clear as day to say, hey, you've had something go on your account. What was I'm it for? Like, was it a post? Yeah. Has someone reported that post for? Is it a scam? Is it fraud? Is it nudity? Is it, I don't know what the fuck it might yeah. be. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, th- th- there should be a clearer way for it than just definitely. Like, I'm sitting on my reels and just go see you later. Then bang, yeah. back to my home screen on my phone. I'm going, if I click back on Instagram, oh, your account's been suspended. I would have threw my phone the through the fuck? wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was like at the time it was about two thirty three a.m. when I was over in Bali. Yeah, oh, it was pretty fucking. Oh, I don't know what the fuck. What I was were doing you doing up, up there? Jesus, uh, at that just, time, I've been sleeping like shit. But Finn, Finn's Beach Club. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, I probably went to bed at like eleven or twelve drunk. So. Mm. Yeah, but uh, one of those nights. One yeah, those just nights. woke up and was going, you fucking shit me. That, that's so shit. Yeah. Anyway, on from that, we'll just see waiting game in the, yeah, in the next game, yeah. the next episode. You'll probably find out whether we've got it back and everyone's going to see online anyway. So, yeah. Um, I didn't actually get a message from Andre about his sort of update. <laughs> but, yeah. So ghosted Once, you? Yeah, I just... Fucking, we've just been on and off the phone all day and then just never got it off him. But he's, <laughs> everyone's seen on his Instagram, I'll sort of speak for him. We're building the ute at the moment, class it A sort of race so truck. And it's basically all new rear suspension. It will be like front suspension, I believe. New yep. wide body fenders, fiberglass fenders. So it's like, it's looking like a proper trophy truck, like yeah. GQ trophy truck. So it's, he's been absolutely hustling and bustling. In that workshop, that hey, yeah, done. long hours in that yeah. workshop. And for him and myself, we both got a deadline for the um, Larkin 4x4 and cool. camping shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're doing a photo shoot for the calendar next next year's calendar. Next year's calendar, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we could have, have I saw that. I saw that, that post, that reel. Yeah, 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 sick. So have my ute ready next month to do that photo shoot. His ute ready. We're tr- I think we're aiming f- for like three weeks from now. Yeah. Two or three weeks from now. When we're heading to the snow. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> There's so much on. And then so, so much, much to get, on, hey. So much to get done on his ute. So Yeah. Yeah, we got um got a bit to do there. So that's his update. What's your uh, sort of update? My update. Oh mate. We got a new uh rooftop and uh awning company. Fuck yeah. Yeah, B Z B Industries, Bailey. Yep. Um he we've been very lucky to um be supported by him, so we're getting a new rooftop in the morning, which is absolute epic. Um, yeah. We're trying to get it before we go to the snow, just so we're not. Jesus, what's going on with the dogs over there? <laughs> dogs choking. Um, yeah, so we maybe trying to hold off until the new stock arrives, and then we can get pretty cool snow shots and everything down yeah, south. Sick. But we're gonna head head to our parish first, spend three days there, and then make our way to Vic High Country. Okay. So that'll be the first time I've been in the Vic High Country, which is sick, and Chloe as well. So it'll All be right. interesting. Got to get a new winch. Um, yep. And a, few <laughs> other, and a few other things. Oh, my it's God. <laughs> dogs whinging and fucking dogs. growling. And... What are you doing? What's going on? Get out of it. Fucking... Oh, he doesn't know what he's fucking doing. Yeah. Grumpy and old. Um. So, yeah, and then we just fix up the boat. Do, we'll do a Fraser trip, 1770 trip. Um, mm. Yeah, and, and that's pretty much pretty much it for for the moment, yeah. uh, inside the canopy is getting done at the moment. Yeah, I uh, got uh, sneaky jewel snorkels coming too. Ooh, Ooh. cheeky, cheeky. Um, I probably need to follow up on mine. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. need to see where they're at. So, um, yeah, and then the car's getting a little bit of a makeover. It's not too much. Mm. Um, just, just tidy get, up. Yeah, just a tidy up. Like get rid of the chrome, like yeah. in those lights. I fucking hate chrome. Oh, dude, <laughs> <laughs> chrome. <laughs> Yeah. But um, yeah, no, it's just I'm slowly like just getting it ready for touring down south because I know it's going to be freezing. Yeah, yeah, get those it's heated, be get those heated blankets well, out. <laughs> I'm sure you probably have been. I've been watching buddy um, Bridget's stories the last yeah. sort of few days. She's been down in the snow. She's been down in the like, snow. Oh, I'm so jealous, dude. I, I can't wait. Snow. Hey, I cannot wait because after obviously after New Zealand where I couldn't even leave my hotel room. I just yeah. want to go to the snow so bad. Yeah. And I just like, I was like, oh, we could just go back to New Zealand or go to Japan or something. Yeah. And I was like, I can't really film anything full yeah. drive. So it won't relate to anyone. So why not? Head yeah. south. Yeah, it'd Fair be cool. Enough. Head west and south. West and south. West then south. West then south. West and south. West, yeah. west and south. Yeah. Fuck like, that's I'm, a I, tongue twister. It is a tongue twister, isn't it? I don't want to follow the coast road because I've done the coast road so many times. Yeah. So I'm going to try something different. There you go. Like head out even Gundy way, somewhere like that. Head out to Toowoomba and then. Yeah. That way. Go out the back, back way. Back, back way. Yeah. Nice. See the country. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's our update for the moment. And okay. um, Chloe's got some pretty big news that we can't really talk about at the moment. 
that will come yeah. out very very soon. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So um, Chloe's got something huge, huge coming. Yeah, very, um, very, very big news. Yeah. So right. I'm not going to spoil it and do anything. We'll she, can, we'll, she can do that. She, yeah. she can say that. She, she can, can say that. She yep. can announce yep. it. I know she'll be excited. So, so yeah, it's all getting finalized and everything, and just sorting a few things out. And yeah, yeah she, you should was, get her on. I was all. actually very fucking surprised. Yeah. So. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's a big change. Yeah. It'd be a huge change. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Um, little things we got train canopy. Yeah. I'm selling my train canopy. You are, aren't we? So, oh, well, my canopy. Yeah. Matt, Matt's canopy. <laughs> Matt and Chloe's canopy. <laughs> yeah, so Matt, Matt and Chloe's canopy. We're selling... It's been on my ute, so I'm selling my tray because I'm obviously I'm getting a new tray from Luke at LJ Fab. Yeah, yep. You're very excited for. Very, Cannot very wait excited. for that. That's going to look epic. I haven't even shown... Hold oh, on. Have a look at this. <laughs> no, no listeners get to see. No listeners will get to see this, but Maddie's going to. Alrighty, Legends, we interrupt this episode to bring you a word from our sponsor, LJ Fab. Are you looking for a new tray, canopy, or dog box for your rig? Make sure you get over and see the team who offer flexibility and custom design to suit your needs. They're a few hours west of Brisbane, located in Chinchilla, and they're shipping Australia wide. Now, they've got a few spots left in September and bookings after that, so make sure you're getting quick and get your booking ready for your rig. Uh, they've also given us a discount code. So if you mention Hey Big Mac podcast, he's going to take 10% off your next tray. So terms and conditions apply and get in quick. Thanks, Legends. Back to today's episode. You. Um, there you go. Look at that. A few little tweaks <laughs> to still be made. <laughs> but yeah. epic. But yeah, getting the new tray sorted. It's Matt and Chloe's canopy, but we're going to try and sell it as a package. Yeah. So yeah. if anyone's keen on a 79 series dual cab train canopy, Hit me up. Hit us both up. And yeah. This looks so sick, Macca. <laughs> it's fucking... A few little tweaks still. Is that it as well? Can, hey? I, can I scroll? Uh, it's only those oh, two. Oh, it's only those two? Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, you sort of get the idea out this of that. This looks sick. So, yeah, just just with a little little different design. Oh, you, so you're not... No. Nah. You know, yeah, nah, right, yeah, like yeah. I'm not going to say it, but yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, you, yeah, you're going to have it. Huh? You're going to have it square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like cool. a square yeah, rear end. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Yeah, I like my square rear end. I don't that's like all sick, the fucking man. fancy shit. So. That's sick. And that's that's the, obviously, the water. No. 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 Wow, okay. Because we're running those cheeky little... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got you now. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, we're just teasing yeah. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Won't spoil too much for us, but you'll see that... Probably next month, I reckon. September or yeah. August, end of start of September or end of August, end of start August. of September. I think you'll be sort of getting it cool, cool, rolling. cool. So, I've sort of given Luke his sort of freedom to do his jobs in between and yeah, not be too rushed. I mean, at the end of the day, he's helped me out as a sponsorship and exactly. he's still got trays and build orders and everything like that coming yeah. in. So exactly, yep. He's a very busy man over there. So if you're looking for a tray or any work. Make sure you get him fucking quick because he's <laughs> filling up for the year. Yeah, mission's filled up a bit too, eh? It's, yeah. Um, yeah, they're filling up real quick. Everyone's busy. Everyone's so yeah. busy. It's because everyone wants everything done at the end of the year. Yeah. Everyone's like, can I get this done now? Everyone just wants it. And tax time it too. Everyone yep. gets their tax back too. So, no, it's, I'm very, very No, nah, that's going to look epic, man. That's going to be yeah. sick. Are you getting a canopy as well on top of that? I will down the line. You, oh, you're yeah. going to down, down the line. Yeah, yeah. just going to... You're going to run the tray back for a bit. Run it sort of like tray back for be spec for a bit. And then, um, I mean, worst comes to worst, I just... I put... If we don't sell your canopy, I throw it back on for a bit here and there for trips or whatnot. And yeah. I mean, I've got the cargo boxes. And I've all. had a few people ask me, even yeah. on Facebook Marketplace for the canopy. I was like, yeah, just check. Hey, Big Mac 4x4, four four, it's there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I put a... Um, I did put a Facebook ad up for it. So yeah. if you're somewhere on the sunny coast, just search up 79 series dual cab dual tray, cab tray and you'll see it. Yeah. It's big sandy one. <laughs> big sandy one. Yeah. Um, yeah. What have we got on here? We've sort of jumped up and down the list we a lot, have, haven't we? We've just gone in between everything. Um, oh, I've got my barley trip written down. Look, there wasn't a fucking... It was just barley. Which is barley. It, it was fucking fun. So not last episode, but the episode before you... Would have heard we teased a trip away. Yeah. Sort of, we bleeped it all because I didn't really want every, everyone knowing know where, where I was going. Are. But yeah. I just now I can say I'm back from Bali. I'm home. <laughs> it's still standing. Um, no boogie boards to come back. No, no boogie boards, unfortunately. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I'm surprised if my brother gets back into the country. Oh, though. Don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> oh, um, but yeah, no, Bali was fucking sick. Went to a couple of different spots and yeah, just fucking got to enjoy it. Fucking dog. Is this dog? Was it chewing? Is it he choking? chews tennis balls. Oh, is that what he's choking on? Yeah, he's. Oh, wow, he's <laughs> really coughing up that one. Oh. But yeah, no, buddy, just hanging out in Bali, drinking bing is, is it cheap food. Is it expensive now? No. Is it still the same? No. I heard it got. I heard the prices raised oh, a little bit. A little bit, but not, not too really. much. Yeah, right. Like we um, is Cuda still the same? I heard Cuda yeah. was pretty dead after COVID. It's it's getting busy. It's getting busy still again. Busy. Okay, cool, cool. But yeah, like um, going out some nights. We're going like a full family dinner. There's five or six of us most of the time. Yeah. Um, brother's girlfriend over there as well, and so we went over mum's birthday. Yeah. Went out one night for dinner, and it was like fifty bucks Australian. For a full family feed. Like for all six of five, all five of or six. six Holy Jesus. Like you go in, you buy a Bing Tang, that's two dollars or whatever it might be, three yeah. dollars. You buy a chicken burger, that's eight to ten eight. bucks yeah. max. Easy. Like and then you can buy like wings or something, they might be like seven bucks. Like so cheap. Yeah. And the restaurants are still as good as good as they were. Yeah. Or they just yeah. cheap. There's always There's, good food over yeah. there somewhere. Like I mean it depends what you can do. Get a cramp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, Bali's always a good yeah, time Ripping it's around on mopeds and shit and Matt's cramping up <laughs> What is going on my foot? Yeah, I need to get back to Bali, hey Yeah, yeah have need to do a big boys trip or something Yeah, that'd be, yeah. <laughs> that'd be dangerous <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine yeah. Oh, Jesus We did, um, one of the funniest bits was We did bloody a um, quad bike tour we did that too. Yeah, tour. yeah. And we were just fucking around that much. Like me and my brothers were Did you just go through the rice fields and all that? Or? Rice fr- fields through tunnels and shit. Like it was Wow, sick. that's sick. And we were just, they're like, make sure you use two brakes at a time. We were like, fuck that. that. It was just hold the front brake on, full <laughs> throttle, don't burn out skids. These tires had no tread on it. Well. Like, <laughs> everyone we seen coming back was spotlessly clean. And we and come back come soaked in mud and dirt yeah. and water. Yeah. And, <laughs> yeah, we're just like two wheeling quad bikes on the sides <laughs> everywhere. And like, and we went into these tunnels. My brother's in front of me and he's sitting there doing a burnout, just yeah. sitting there spinning the tires. <laughs> I said, fuck this, he's coming in shit. I throttled it, hit him. My front wheels hit his back wheels and just launched him up into the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, fuck, it was so good. They don't care over there too. They're just no. like, oh, whatever. We're ramming the shit out of each other. Like, you go down <laughs> these hills and they're like, stay close. And we're just smacking the absolute <laughs> crap out of each other. <laughs> oh fuck it was fun fuck it's always fucking fun over there there's just there is so much to there is so all much all the beach clubs and yep, pools yep. and like there's um everyone knows Mississippi like you got that diving board like five yeah, meter yeah, diving five board meter platform board, yep. or whatever it is you got Finnis Beach Club they always have 24 yeah. they're, they're bars 24-7 isn't it so it'd be something like that is it something it's like fucking that? pretty much always open it's always open isn't it yeah, yeah. if it was closed it's because I wasn't there <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no, so where did you stay where did you stay up there you say um, Seminac, you did, said? No, um, Changu. Oh, Changu, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we did uh, Ubud. Yep. In, up in the forest. Up in the forest, Went yeah, yeah, yeah. Went and fucking monkeys. Steal anything? Uh, no, they didn't steal anything, but they love jumping on you. Dude, I even had a... I had, I remember oh, they steal your water bottles. Oh, I had a... Like a this sounds so gay, I'm saying this. I had a Gucci satchel that under my shirt when I, when I was told to go to the monkey forest and they like yeah. hide everything dude these these little fuckers were still lifting up my shirt trying to grab unzip anything yeah yeah take your sunglasses yeah try and steal your hats yep. Fuck, yeah i remember i remember an old couple a uh, handbag got mm. taken and they just fucking bolted yeah into the forest gone. it's gone yeah, yeah and everyone she was screaming and i was like oh dude you're not gonna get that yeah. back yeah they're just, trying to do that though to steal money and go yeah. yeah you just stand behind someone and look them in the eyes and they just go <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're dangerous little things sometimes. Oh, if they one scratch, you don't get rabies or some shit. No, they bite have like no nails or nothing. But oh, I think it's if they nails. bite you, like their teeth would be sharp. Oh, fuck. So. No, they would be. But we had like the little baby monkeys just as we were walking out. Like they'll just jump over me and Fletch and just yeah, on yeah. our shoulders on top of our head. And that yeah. And, like, um, simple as it it's was. It's pretty cool, but it's kind of scary at the same time. Yeah. 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 Buddy, my younger brother that reckons he can fight anything but a 40 hour <laughs> week at work, he's just bloody shit scared of him. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding behind mum. <laughs> Thanks, mum. <laughs> Pussy. No, I fucking, I loved Bali. It was yeah, sick. It's always so, a good time. I, I went there before COVID, mm-hmm. like just before COVID. Yeah. And then seeing it after COVID, completely different. Different. Yeah, right. I need but to it was still busy. Still busy, yeah. Still very yeah. busy. Yeah. But yeah. 
So, uh, bit, of, bit of this, bit of that. Bit of this, bit of that. Um, God, are these ones. Oh, yeah. Are you chasing professional photography or videography work or logo designs like you see from all the Hey Big Mac accounts? Well, Hampton's Media Services, located between Gold Coast and Bundaberg, can bring your profiles back to life with a new professional look. So go check them out and let them know that the Hey Big Mac podcast has sent you. Cheers, guys. Back to today's episode. So this week, put out a post like just chasing... What I did was I put up a post just basically chasing to see if anyone had an old camera because I wasn't paying massive money for a camera. Like, don't it's really need one. Not I actually for... have a Sony one that I got back. It's actually sitting in the, at home. The fuck? Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize I because someone was borrowing it. I didn't actually realize I got it back the other day, and I was like, oh, I completely forgot I had this camera. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was, that's a, my bad. That's it wasn't my the bad. one that got stolen. No, no, no. Uh, oh no, gone. no. That's that's gone. That's completely yeah. gone. Um, which is unfortunate. I I can't get insurance for it. Even it was taken yeah. in the complex of my like how, like our townhouse that's annoying yeah it is but i might just go buy a new one next week yeah i'm pretty keen on the sony Fuck um yeah. after seeing tj's i'm just like no nah, i'm sony i'm going sony yeah well i've been looking at it's like jake just got a little vlog camera too I yeah think it's the same one like a sony i got it's, it's a it's sony a7 III. V- well, i was looking at like this it's a sony v VZ2 or VZ2 VZ12 or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, it's yeah. a tiny little sort of vlogging camera. Yeah. And I was talking to Andre. Oh, I know like, the one you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. the screen flips up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. We just need two of them. Me and him can run around the workshop, everything. Because yeah. having iPhones and shit is too much fucking around. And I find I find when you. Um, you don't take it as serious. No. And with iPhones, I feel like when you upload them, it's not the same quality. Nah. It's nah. it, it looks better on your phone and you upload it. And it's completely shit. Yeah. I'm just like, how does Whistling Diesel record everything on his iPhone? Fuck, they got it sorted. Uh, yeah. yeah. I just don't understand it. So yeah. I'm, Even Cletus McFarlane, he's all bloody He's iPhone, an iPhone but, as well. Yeah. yeah. Like you've got to remember, you got to, every time you video record on an iPhone, you got to switch to 4K. Yeah. Because it comes up with the HDD yeah. or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. yeah. But no, it's get two little vlog cameras and yeah, just film everything around the workshop, everything we race in, cars, for, like just. We wanted to start filming all that shit. Yeah. And the plan is to basically, we're going back to getting a camera. Like I, I was I put up that post, chasing a um, camera. camera. And I got heaps of, heaps of people message me. I'm like, oh yeah, we got this camera and this camera. Narrowed it down to like a couple of blokes at um, Lockie. Um, L, is it L, LVD or L, did it, did it, I can't remember his um, photography account. Yeah. But he's, he's the one we met at Kenilworth that day when we went wheeling. It was a big group of us. I don't think you were there. Well, I don't think I was there, no. But it was just all the boys showing that. Yeah. Anyway, he's hit me up. He's got a camera. So I'll probably go on with him. There's two other people that had cameras there that are yeah. actually really good um, Canon cameras. Cheap. Canon? Canon ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Dude, like, I loved my Canon. Canon was awesome. Long term, it'd probably be two or three cameras for yeah. the podcast. So you can have one on each guest. Yeah. And then a wide angle one. And yeah. then we can just use clips and all and that sort of shit. And then just mix them together. And, yeah. So it'd be a bit of an editing process. And then I also put out the post chasing someone to run clips for the podcast because I just don't have the time for it at the moment. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, so I had heaps of responses on running clips. So I think I might have found someone. So I know. I'm excited too. That. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. So once we sort of start filming episodes, the we're going to get back. clips out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now we'll get... Um, Start filming some episodes, try and get some clips out and just sort of get the Instagram sort of short form reels and stuff. Yeah, all them yeah. And which makes it a bit more exciting it, it too. It just catches. Like if I, I just thought if you can put out two or three reels a week from an episode each week and just, you know, it's a bit more advertising and stuff. And yeah. Yeah, just get them out there just so it gets a bit more publicity and get it. And they get can see what, and see, what, see what we actually like. How we present ourselves. Yeah, we'll put a, put not, a face. Not full work uniform like I am right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and we could be sitting there in our jocks, who knows? Oh, yeah, dude. It's, um, I mean, how many blokes look at the alpha blokes every week and, you know, you see they've just got their reels and stuff of their clips they put up on Instagram. And they're just short ones. But you still go listen to them every week on Spotify anyway. But yeah. a lot of people f- go see the episodes or know about the alpha blokes just from their clips and just reels. Just clips, so. yeah, yeah. I mean, and a lot of blokes are doing it now as well. Like, um, they do like, it. I mean, how do you name a podcast that isn't doing clips? Yeah. Like, um, that Jarch and I watched that Jarch and that. Chick. Yeah. They're, they're the funniest yeah. podcasters. Um, Gypsy Tales Gyp- is really yeah, good. Yeah, Gypsy for Tales it too. is a good. Tale. Um, 
impulsive Logan Paul, yep. J- JRE clips, JRE, um, yeah. Joe Rogan. Yep. Like, I mean, fuck, at the end of the day, everyone that's doing podcasts, they've got some sort of clips channel or and, shorts or whatever it might be. And they're so. filming it as well as recording it at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So we sort of need to, that's why I put the post out for cameras. So we need to start yeah. filming episodes. And I mean, we don't have the most, um, Best background here, but yeah, but maybe when maybe when I to, move into our, me and Chloe move into our share, we could we'll paint, we could, we'll paint one corner of the wall <laughs> <laughs> so underneath yeah. the living area or something. Yeah. I mean, floor. there's always always room to improve. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it out there and start from the basics. Like I mean, and we're starting fresh in that shit anyway. So like yeah. we can really set it up the way we want it. Yeah. So no, I mean we just run with it. You're gonna see us grow on this podcast. I mean, at the start we're working with a little bit of audio stuff, and then we're slowly expanding the audio stuff we've got and cameras and we want to get the cameras rolling, eventually find someone that can, you know, if, if this ma- generated money long-term, I want to be able to put someone on that can be full-time and, you know, sort of run clips and admin and... Be a manager. You know, yeah, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Like, need to find like a good social media manager when, yeah. I've, when I've got the money. Yeah. <laughs> so don't go hit me in the bloody yeah. box and go, oh, hey, I'll mate. be your manager. Like, unless you can do it for free at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> unless you can do it for free at the moment and you get to hang out and come on some cool trips. <laughs> yeah. But, that's the thing, eh? Yeah. Like, we couldn't even get to the point where I could shout them trips. Yeah. Just be like, jump in the car. I've, t- I've talked to a bloke about that already. Mm. Like, I, mean, I said to him, I was talking... It was just before I went away. Yeah. He hit me up. He's like, I got a camera. I want to film all this sort of stuff. I was like, tee up a trip or something. Like, film a trip. All you've got to do is film everything. Film and everything. Yep. So, yeah. And that sort of goes into the next sort of bit was YouTube full time. Mm. So, I basically want to go full time, hardcore, just into YouTube. Yep. Obviously, I'm not going to be making a salary until, you know, you start getting your subscriptions, all that sort of stuff. But... Yeah, like we're not. I want to once a week, like get some cameras where we can actually have an easier setup. Yeah. And then just once a week, pump out a video and just go for it. Yeah. I can, I don't know. I don't see myself sort of working construction or anything like that for the next 12 years of my life, whatever. I want to be probably end of this year sort of focusing towards a full time career in YouTube, social media, social YouTube, media. podcast. That's awesome. And so, yeah, if, if we can have the YouTube channel of the Utes and everything with racing and whatever's going on and touring and four wheel driving, and and then we've got the podcast as well. And, yeah, yep, that's you know, it. Just travel, meet Better guests, get, and mm, get a good group together and go traveling. Yeah, well, that's it. And then, I mean, like everyone's dream long term is to not really work a job and do something they love. So, yeah, me and Andre are sort of chasing that now. Yeah, I've just I've gone back to work a bit. Yeah, just finished got finished it. my apprenticeship right. and then I'm done. Yeah. And I can do what I want. Uh, next next month or two, I want to buckle out some work and save a bit of money for the stuff we've got coming up. So Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. I'm going to be working hard, mate. I've yeah. got some money behind me now. I can do do what I want. Yeah, and then and then keep chasing up the merch. And keep ch- chasing so, up, yep. Yeah, go through. I'd yeah, probably need to suss that out this week, see where it's up to and get that rolling. Get a few and, people up. Yeah. Well, I know who I'm going through already. Yeah. yeah. So that's easy, but yeah, get get the merch rolling. Get the merch rolling. Yeah, I know everyone's been asking for merch here and there, like, and then anything for the injector calls, we're going to be backdating a little merch pack anyway. So, oh, yeah, I believe true, at true, the moment yeah. there's Alex Shaxton, there's Zach Hawkins. Mm-hmm. He had the one from the other week. From the other we week, one. yeah. And I've actually got only one to play this week. It come through on the email, so I might just play it now. Like. Yeah, injector line one. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's literally called injector line. <laughs> um. So this was sent in actually. I might, I think he says his name in it. So we'll lead on. All right, we'll play it now. G'day, Big Mac and co hosts. Luke Turner here calling in from Harvey Bay area. I'm on a week and a half touring trip from northern New South Wales up to Bundaberg and back down the coast. Just for reference, I'm an 18 year old second year apprentice at Boss Engineering in Inverell. I hit a route going to work one morning a couple weeks ago. He scuffed up my bull bar, hit my main door, hit the back door of my space cab and wrecked a latch on my canopy. I'd like to put the question to you guys. What's the most amount of damage that a wild animal's done while you're driving? Thanks. See you. <laughs> that yeah, a, right. That's a good little... That's a good little question, really. Kangaroos. But fuck, he's done well to hit a roo. <laughs> and just, his door and his panel and his bull bar. But the roo gets stuck latch. in the bull bar or something. Just keep hitting on the oh, side of the door. It's, that, 
I will say one thing about Rosebud. You hit one oh. in the wrong spot at the wrong time, it'll take anything out of your oh, car. Oh, bloody earth. I remember traveling around Oz with mum and dad in 2007. And these ruse, man, I don't, I don't know what goes through the head. They're like, oh, like you go in the bush, you step mm. on a stick, they bounce away. Yeah, yeah. You turn your headlights on, bang, straight for the they headlights. They just want to fucking go for it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I remember one time we got up early, like 3 a.m. one time, we're heading somewhere. It was a long drive. And dad saw this kangaroo on the side of the road with spotties on. He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. It jumped across yeah. and then turned around as we passed it and just went straight into the caravan yeah. and just destroyed the side of the caravan. Oh, and we're man. like, and dad was just like, the fucker just turned around and just went That's straight into so it. So fucking dumb. <laughs> That's what I, it's the same with that dude that would, have you seen that video on Facebook where he's driving to his property and he goes, fuck off. And the kangaroo jumps and jumps onto his actual roof. Have you yeah. seen that? No. Have you not seen that? I've seen the ones where it like happens, he drives to like Calgary and the roo jumps through his windscreen and shit like that. You see them everywhere, but No, I'll show you this. I'll show you this the one. Worst actually <laughs> this is this is funny. Like Luke he's given us a good question there. He's but I, like the worst I've hit on the road for Yeah, this one. This one. Hold on, Matt's just playing a video. I'll turn it up so uh, I can hear it. But I'm pretty sure everyone, most people have seen this one. We've got somebody bet Nad. Yeah, <laughs> hang on. Points bet. Fucking points. I'm a YouTuber, but I still got ads. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm premium, brother. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, yeah, I've seen this. Is it? <laughs> 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 that's that's just what it reminds me of. They just wanted that. Dead just set. that. Oh, oh, fuck. Dude. Yeah, no, I've last time I went to the territory, geez, it'd be five, six years ago now. I think it was. They're lined up on the side. Of the They're road. just absolutely everywhere. Yeah. And I hit one, and it basically took out. It, it went minced itself on the rear dog box. It was yeah. just a mesh dog box. Took out the rear mud flap, mirror, that stuff. <laughs> no damage to the bull bone that. Yeah. And then. Yeah, I'd say that's probably the worst one besides when we actually used to live at the old farm. Mm. I had this old BA shitbox 2004 Falcon. <laughs> it was absolutely fucking horrid. Yeah. Um, but I think that was just me daily to get to work and whatnot. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, we had these fucking cattle. We had a property that was split by a main road. Mm -hmm. All right, this cow's gotten out on the road. Anyway, he was sort of sitting. It was all sugar cane. So he sat there and he's in the bush, fucking didn't know he was there. I was probably doing 40 or 50 Ks when yeah. I come out of the driveway. Yeah. Going down the road, heading to work, normal fucking morning. <laughs> fucking smack. <laughs> this fucking cow runs out in the middle of the fucking road. Yeah, a cow. Dude, that would have totaled the car. Yeah. It fucked it. It bent the bonnet up, ripped oh. the bumper apart, smashed the lights, everything. I still drove the thing fucking 15, 20 minutes into town. <laughs> it was fucked. I, I finally got it home in the RV. I was like, yeah, yeah well, this thing's... a Proper ride off. Yeah, wow. Yeah, if I can, Dude, cows don't move too. That's that's cows and horses the, don't move. Well, this thing fucking ran onto the middle of the road and then just stopped and <laughs> fuck it. It was perfect time and I don't know what the <laughs> fuck the thing was doing, but yeah, that was my worst damage from animal roadkill, whatever you want to yeah, call it. Yeah, like, so. I've been pretty good. I haven't like yeah. haven't really hit anything. Yeah, like right. I've been pretty good. Not that I would do a lot of night driving, like we do sometimes, yeah. but. Not ah, with that. But no. yeah, this this fucking thing is like seven or so o'clock in the morning, so it was bright. <laughs> yeah. It, actually, it's probably even just on just on dawn. Yeah. So yeah, this fucking thing just wrote the whole fucking car. <laughs> I still drove to work and got home, but <laughs> yeah, it was it was fucked. So yeah, no, that was my worst one. So no, fucking good little call in there, Luke. It yeah, was that bloody, was that was a good call in, Luke. Yeah. Hopefully, um, you mentioned you're on trip. Hopefully, that's all going well and and you fixed yeah, your safe damage. Travels and, yeah. Um, best of luck with your apprenticeship and everything too. Yeah, so, watch out for the ruse, yeah, man. Hunt that down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah watch the ruse. So. Watch the ruse. Um, as always, we're going to be backdating the merch pack. So, yeah, I'll get I'll get it out when it's ready. I've I've got your information saved now, so you we'll will be you when you're done. You'll be ready. notified once that's all ready. So, cheers, brother, and thanks for calling in. Yeah, um, probably a good little time to say if if anyone does want to call in and mention anything and you know speak your yarn. Talk to us, whatever it might be. Flick it in. Um, emails in the descriptions. And yeah, it's just at the hey Big Mac podcast at yahoo.com. So get them in. Yeah. Send, send us in your buddy, your injector calls. That's, that's what we're calling them. We want to so. hear them. 
Yeah, you might have funny camp stories or fall drive fuck ups or, you know, just a general story. Or animals destroying your car. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, we might just go... I got an interesting thing sent to me today and it has been asked to be requested as anonymous. Mm-hmm. So I thought, you know, I'll just... Yeah. Yeah, I'll get it and we'll just... We'll go through it quickly. Um Bear with us for a sec. Jesus, shut up. So this bloke sent something in and he's gone, just a topic for the podcast, up Double Island last weekend, people were raiding campsites. Raiding? Raiding campsites. Like what, food and alcohol? So he sent me a post and... Because we were up there, like, we were up there just on the weekend so and there was no one. He's, no it's one. been sent in anonymously... And he sent me a post of the people that were doing it. And I mean, how the fuck do you go about doing this? Like, Wait, is it this this video? Yeah. No, so he sent me, these are the people right. that were doing it. Raiding. Yeah, so. Oh, like, it. I'm so, yeah, raiding like alcohol and food or just like going through campsite and stealing everything? Fuck knows. But if that's starting down here, that is pathetic. It, it's fucking shit. That is just that in is general. so pathetic yeah. if you're going through campsites down here. That's something you do like up, up up north. Like that's that's something that happens well, up north. Yeah, we dealt Not with it down here. York, yeah, but, we dealt with it and But yeah, if I, if if you're fucking going through someone's campsite and I'm assuming it's raiding alcohol or something, like I didn't message him back, but Yeah, we should we should actually see what he was raiding. What they were raiding, sorry. Yeah, it's um yeah, I mean... I mean, like, raiding campsites is kind of like a splendor thing, you know what I mean? Like, go and steal some alcohol. Yeah. And But if you're stealing camp gear and stuff, dude, that's pathetic. That yeah. is really pathetic. It's it's fucking... It's a real grubby act. I mean, all you can do is just report the number place, report the people... Yeah, and exactly. S- ...and send it to police. Yep. That's yep. it. It's, um... Yeah. I, I don't know the full story, so I'm not going to mention the people's names in the yeah. video on that, but yeah. it's... Yeah, that's a, it. Use people, you know who you are. That's a fucking grubby act. Yeah, that's a grubby act. Real oh, grubby act. <laughs> you wouldn't want to catch up, catch you raiding our stuff. I'll oh, tell you what, no. Jesus. Especially, well, you know how I go. Yeah, camping. we know. How we, yeah, <laughs> exactly, man. Yeah. Exactly. I, can... I dare someone to put their hand through the tent. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, let alone when we go camping with the dogs. Yeah, let it go yeah. camping with the dogs. Exactly right. Yeah, the big fellow, he, he looks humble. He ain't. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> No, um, fuck. Yeah, what else we, I've, uh, I've, I honestly have never experienced that down here. Like, no, that's like, I've never I'm, heard I about mean, down here either. I know there's people that if there's a big party on the beach or something, people will go through and you know you might have a couple of missing beers or something out of your Yeah, but yeah. That's just that's just um, scabs. Hey, just, that's, yeah, that's just pathetic. Act. You know, you're not going to really complain about a missing beer at the end of the day. It depends what they're knocking off. But if if they'll knocking off camp going yeah. through mm-hmm. stealing chairs or yeah. Uh, I don't know. Sorry, could, TJ, could I've still got your chair, mate. <laughs> <laughs> from Kinkuna. Oh, bullshit. I mean, did you see the episode that came out? He goes, yeah, I'm going to leave the chair here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I actually took that chair thinking someone <laughs> left it behind. And I was like, this is the best chair ever. It's a chaos one. And, oh, um, so now you've got TJ's chair. Well, it's actually not TJ's. It's Sam's. Oh, was, oh true. Yeah. I was like, oh, I've still got your chair, TJ. And he goes, it's actually Sam Isles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and, and that's the good thing about like all those boys. I like. Everyone's helping each other out. Yeah. They're all doing yeah. something. So no, it's good to say. Um, the Sydney 4x4 show was on, when was it? Last weekend? Last weekend, before? weekend, yeah. Weekend before. Weekend before, sorry, yeah. So that oh, was on. Um, two weeks ago. Yeah, so just, a week and a bit ago, just yeah. as I went to just, Bali. Yeah, just, yeah. Um, we went to that one last year. We got invited to that one last year. Yeah. Um, it looks a lot bigger than it was last year. Fuck yeah, it looks is. huge yeah. compared to last year. Did you watch Sam Young sort of video? Yeah, he, going around. He had like a, I don't know, was he hosting it or something for their Instagram and all that? And then he did like a recap video, like interviewing. And yeah, because so he kind of like, I don't know, really know what. Yeah, I think he must have hosted or something. Yeah. Hosted the four by four show, which is different. Like it's cool to see. So yeah, he, he brings a bit of like comedy factor to it. Yeah, all it's fun. It. Yeah, it's exactly. good. It's a laugh. So. It is a laugh. Yeah, and that's what you wanted at a four wheel drive show. Yeah. Guys, we're not take, all take not, the we're not all serious. serious you know what I mean? Like, like it is a serious event. Like people are there for a very big reason. Like you're promoting your brand, lifestyle, company, brand, yeah, like, everything, and the people that's yourself everything. sometimes. Like yeah. if we went, yeah. It's um, it's a big deal, but I've seen some like everyone just look like they're having a good time. Yeah, like, I didn't see like anything a... sort of bad or negative. I, I about didn't see it, any negative from it. Yeah, which was pretty good. Like you've always got. I know there was a bit of drama last year. I think 
after the show with a few people. Yeah, but for, uh, last year's show. Last year's yeah, show, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. So it was pretty well tamed this year. But even good. all the stuff, like, I mean, it's so hard to sit overseas and keep up to date with what's going yeah. on at a 4 by 4 show that you're not near. But, um, no, it, it looks sick. Like, yeah. Some of the cars that were there and done up and... And I saw they moved a few things around. So they had that big pavilion with every, yeah. like every brand and... It'd be sick. I, I swear every time there's a four by four show, I'm somewhere. Like it's... it's <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, Brizzy, you didn't come to Brizzy though. I asked Brizzy you if you four by four show. I was down at my cousin's wedding. So I'm oh, like, yeah, you I was were in too. That's New South were. Wales. Yep, yep. And then Sydney four by four show. I was in Bali. <laughs> uh, well, Melbourne's next. Melbourne's Mel next. Melbourne's next. When's that? But that's that's late August. 24th of August. Or middle of August, I middle think. August. I might be wrong. But I'm, I know my way for that. So I'm like, fuck, <laughs> it's just, I mean, it's just inconvenience. I don't, I love the 4x4 four four shows. Yeah. But. I'm going to, we're going to one going, in September, the Sunny Coast Expo one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so our, our car will be on stand there. Fuck yeah. um, we'll be there for three days. So, yeah, if anyone's around Sunny Coast Expo, Mint. come say hi to me and Chloe, get some photos. Oh, yeah. Car will be on for show. Everything will be done on the car too. That's sick. So. The whole canopy fit out will be done. You got to have your merch ready for that. Have hopefully have our merch ready for that. Yeah. Um, rooftop awning, everything will be on. All the wires, electrical, everything done. Yeah. New new headlights, everything. Yeah, it'd be sick. Yeah. I don't know. I'm I'm sort of in that position where I'd love to be at the four by four show and have a stand and the Ute there and yeah. heap of merch. But oh, we're with Mission. That's yeah, that's yeah. the thing. But Brizzy as well. We're in, we're on a, another stand with another company as well. So we haven't got yeah. our own stand because it's obviously mm -hmm. not big enough. See, I want to get there to a point where. I can. I you think, can. Yeah. I think me and Andre are sort of setting ourselves up where we can have like our own stand, stand and, and merch. have our merch. And yeah. We're just not at that stage yet. Yeah. Like that's, I'd make an effort to, even if it wasn't me running the stand, mm -hmm. it, while I was away, it would have been perfect to have, you know, someone take my ute down and heaps of merch and set up at the Sydney 404 show because it's But it's also very it's expensive. It's also very expensive to enter the well, four-wheel drive show. emails from them. Yeah. Like yeah. Be there yeah. So if... If you can get invited, you can. Yeah. But if you can't, it's pretty expensive to it put is. your own stand, put your own brand on the stand. But if if this is the lifestyle you're chasing, you're crazy not to. It's exactly it, right. Hundred percent. They are the best of the best people in the industry, and they're going to be at these shows. Yeah. And I remember when I started YouTube. Like this, it'd be one year now in August. Yeah. One year will be August. Our first video on YouTube. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I remember when I first started. I was like, fuck. I just want to be up on that stage, hey. Yeah. And it'd then, be cool. Yeah, it'd be so cool. That's just the thing I'm aiming for is that stage so I can mm. have a chat. But I'm, it's going to take years to get there. And, and I'm, that's what I'm prepared I, to do. Maybe potentially this time next year, we're somewhere with, fuck, the potty. Yeah. Do a live potty at the, one of the Forby at shows. At the Forby shows. Be That'd be sick. sick. So, yeah. you know, have guests or something like that. And I mean, that's the ultimate goal with this thing. Is to I think they've got to, I think, I know it. it's good that they just keep it like separate for big influences. But you've, I reckon they've got to let a few little influences through. There is so many they do it on there. They do it. At, they did it at Adelaide last year. I don't, I don't know. I didn't know if it was a four by four national show, but it was yeah. another big one that they go around Brizzy, Melbourne, Adelaide, Perth. Yeah. And they, they that that's the type of brand, that brand that lets little influences in. Yeah. And then like everyone just comes in and supports them, which is sick. I think you're always going to have, you've got your main influences that you're going to yeah. see, right? Like, Everyone that's comfortable getting behind a camera, mm -hmm. filming themselves on their phone, putting up stories, being be like in front of that camera twenty yeah. four seven, they don't yeah. care. And they're running their brand, their social media, their YouTubes, whatever it is, however you want to call it. There's also a lot of really, really good brands out there that aren't comfortable public speaking and yeah. being in front of the camera. Like they can run a brand and a business unreal. Unreal, but, but they, they can knock it in front of a camera yeah. or in front of a you know, there might be a couple hundred people in an audience and on a microphone, they just freeze up and freak out. Yeah, 100%. I mean, the podcast is like the middle ground for me because you don't I am shit at public speaking. <laughs> but I can get on here and quite happily know there could be a couple of thousand people listening to this. Yeah, yeah. And it's just different. But we're sitting here in a shed and it's just me and you and a dog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It'll be different when the cameras come out too, maybe. Yeah. You never know. Well, I'm not... You, try, you don't want it to be well, in a podcast. You kind of want it to be free-flowing. Kind yeah, of all that type of thing. You know, I suppose it it depends. Like, if we had someone sitting here now, you sort of depending on how that comfortable they are with filming and all that sort of stuff, yeah. and if they understand it, you're not too bad with it. But yeah, I know if if my mum or dad was sitting here right now, it would be a shit show. <laughs> like, it'd be a shit show. Yeah, they would. But, oh, actually, no, dad probably would. Yeah, my my old man probably would. Mm. It it would take him a few 
you yeah. fucking um but we're also pretty time to get there sit behind the camera and that like we've oh, both had probably, experience but, and yeah. go out filming you just sort of i don't know you, you kind of just shouldn't I, worry i, 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 treat I get like a lot of, on facetime i get a lot of questions i mean i get a lot of questions like at least twice two times a week saying how do you guys how do you guys start and how are you so comfortable in front of a camera yeah i, I just I, my, my main reason is just who gives a fuck what's in front of you don't worry about what people are thinking. About. Yeah, who gives like, a damn? I, I treat it if I'm filming... It's your life. You do what you want with it. Yeah, if I'm doing an update video on Instagram or something... Oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> um, I treat it like I'm on FaceTime. Like, I hate FaceTime in general. Yeah. Like, but you just treat it like you're on FaceTime. Yeah. It's it's you and your phone talking like you're in public anyway on the mobile phone. That's exactly. all it is. Yeah. yeah. Except you've just got... A video that you've got to watch back of yourself talking. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like is watching myself back. I seen a stat the other day. I was like, it, it caught me attention because everyone goes, oh, everyone hates hearing their voice back on recording or camera. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't affect me. Like, yeah. not that bad. What affects me is seeing, so listening to the podcast mm. doesn't worry me. Yeah. It's seeing my face while I'm listening to it. Yeah, that right. It. Yeah, okay. But then there was a stat that come up online. I don't know where it was now it's been a couple of weeks yeah and it was like 70 percent of people can't stand it mm. and there's 30 percent of people that love it <laughs> i was like it it's fucking that's probably, probably very fair true. that's probably very fair and yeah it, it made me think i wonder how many of that 30 percent have never actually really done it yeah or they're in the position to do it that don't do it they don't do it yeah so i don't know there's a bit of thought that is a bit of thought yeah that, so yeah, yeah that's yeah i'd I've never had a problem with the camera in my face. I don't. I don't care what I look like in front of a camera. I don't care what I say in front of a camera. Yeah. And I don't care what other people think. Yeah. And, that's, and, and bloopers are funny. And bloopers are funny. Exactly <laughs> yeah. right. But I sent you and Andre a video the other day, which will be going up on my Instagram as a reel, probably tomorrow or the next day. So when this is live, it'll probably be out. Um, it was like doing a, a voiceover for a video, like a time lapse video. That one that I said. Yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. It is so much fucking hard. It is hard, hey. Because you so gotta try and keep harder. up with the video yeah. while doing it. Oh, and then you forget what you're trying but to like your train of thought was. was and you're like, oh, oh, oh and you're having to restart. My problem was I'll be halfway through the video and I'm going way too fast. Yeah. And then I get to the end of the video and, and I'm like way too slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit. Yeah, Sorry. a lot of people ask me, it's like, how do you how do you put a sentence together when you're on like on, in front of a reel or in front of a YouTube camera? I'm just like Dude, I can't string yeah. one sentence together. Like if, I, have if, to do, I have to do it three times to just to put the sentence together. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're out filming a video, like, and you're face face in front of the camera filming it, it's not that bad. No. But doing the voiceover for it was so I, difficult because yeah. it's a timing, it's getting your words right. And, and we're gonna be. Doing, I did it probably thirty times. Yeah, I'm gonna be. <laughs> we're doing it in our new uh, YouTube video coming out very soon. We can't release anything just yet. Mm. Um, we're going to do voiceovers and this is the first time in our YouTube video that we're going to do voiceovers. So yeah. it's going to be interesting. Well, mate, we've got a good setup here. We've got it. a good setup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got the mice. We've got the audio equipment. It's easy. Yeah. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, that'll be interesting. I'm, I'm excited to actually do one. I've yeah. never done one before. So it's cool. I, I mean, at the end of the day, you just have that area, of the clip already there in production. You just play it in front of you while you're talking. Yeah. Yeah. So. And you put a little bit of music over it, it kind of sounds a lot, lot better too. Yeah. Not just speaking into the mic. Background. Bit in. of background noise, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, what else we got here? We got a couple of rigs for the week. Oh, so. I like this bottom one. Yeah. So, these are just two. Normally, I do one each each episode. Yeah. But we've had like a two week gap. So, mm. I thought we're going to put well, two in there. I like both of them. I like both of them. We're going to put two in there. So, the first one was Life of the Chromies. Yeah. They're just traveling. And it wasn't so much their rig. It was more so like the page and how they present it and like the way they run their social media, like the Instagram account and that, it just caught me attention. Like it was just sick. Like yeah. the edits, everything like that. Yeah. They still got a nice 79. But yeah. That, it I, was, well, I didn't didn't meet them, but up in Norweld, uh, up in Cairns, that's when we saw the rig up there. Yeah. And we was like, who's this? And we was like, yeah, it's one of the boys. So, um. Yeah, no, it's a it's a weapon of a seventy nine. It was cool. It's a cool seventy nine. Is it on portals? I think if it I is. Could, it's on portals. Yeah, hey, it's yeah, portals. it's on portals. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's massive, man. It's huge. Yeah, they're just they got a cool page. It's just called Life of the Chromies. It's all one word. Yeah, that's it. They got at the moment three thousand four hundred followers, and they're just they're making sick content. Yeah, that's all awesome it is. content. Yeah, they've got so just in their bio, they've got. Queensland living, forever exploring, car travel, outdoor enthusiast, 2021 Portal Axle Land Cruiser and a 1959 Chevy, Chevy Apache yeah. restoration. Yeah. Yeah. 
So no, they're just doing cool shit to so go check them out. And then, yeah. And then the next one we've got. Oh, this is, this this is my, yeah, my favorite TikToker at the moment. G.U. Yeah. Trippin'. <laughs> G-U tripping. So it's G-U what up, dogs? <laughs> what up, dogs? <laughs> it's been making the rounds for the last week, I'm going to say. Couple weeks. He's traveling Oz weeks. now, yeah. Traveling Oz, they got 14.7K followers. Just, and yeah, he's... And he's built, like, he he's built the tray. Blake Hoskin. Yeah, he uh, built the tray, he built the canopy, all from his backyard. Yeah. And dude, it's a sick G-U. Go to his account and just watch one of his reels and yeah. you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, yep. The, they're not a voiceover, but they're like a captioned audio. Yeah, it's a cap. Yeah, so, so you can get them audio. off. You get that that voice of TikTok or whatever it is. Yeah, and you just, and you, it's yeah. fucking so it's good. So I'm good. Like, fuck it, we're gonna. He can't fish, so so mate, hit us up if you want some fishing tips. <laughs> we might yeah. get you a fish that you can cook at night. Because every time I've seen your videos, you can't get a fish. <laughs> fuck, I'm gonna just try to find this video and I'll play it through the mic. It was one of them, and it was just it gave me a fucking crack up. <laughs> Um, yeah, him and his missus are up near seventeen seventy Bundy or something up yeah. there now at the moment. So it's here we go, fucking. So this and I love is, the this music; is, it goes with it too. Yeah, it's, it's elite. This is one of his elite reels sorry. that he's I put up, and I, I fucking made me laugh so hard. So just yeah. Most bright and early and so no. Yeah, we this one. No I like this one. Stay so the missus. Oh, it's fucking... Hold on. We're trying to get it back to the start. Sorry about that. We fucked up there. But <laughs> so, here we go. Day one of traveling Australia. Yeah, a I saw this one. Clue. <laughs> we left Gold Coast bright and early and sooted north. We had no fucking clue where we were going to stay, so the missus looked at the map and chose Inskip Point. Fucking oath. I then <laughs> proceeded oath. to watch the missus set up camp. Have a go at this tidy view. Now we needed some dinner, so I rigged up my rod and went down for a fish. I couldn't catch a root in a broth, so I had to <laughs> some meat. I then went for a quick skirt up the beach and called it a day. It sounds meat. Yeah. A1 of travel. That's fucking cool. Oh, dude, it's a sick page. Go it, follow it. it just, yeah. Go he, follow he's it. He's making some cool content. Yeah. So, Jesus. And I love it how he's like, he's gone, I'm not going to do any voiceovers. He, he's going to do a funny voice. And that's, yeah, his, that's all his photo, video it's reels and so TikToks. Good. It's so good. And it just, every, every time I hear that sound and that voice, I just I think, think of, of him. him. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And he, that's a perfect example of like, everyone in this industry, you sort of just get told, find your niche, stick to it. Yeah. And don't copy anyone else's. The thing he's done well is he, I don't know where he's got it from. He copied or whatever, but it's just like a generic thing, but he's made it his he's thing. He's made it his thing. Yeah. And it's stuck and it's doing well for so him. So sick. But yeah, just keep going with your content, man. Cause I absolutely, fuck, me and Chloe love I, it. I'm frothing it. Yeah, I, I only I'm found him it. probably last week in Bali when I was over there. I just yeah. came up around me. I was like, this is fucking dope. Yeah. So what? I found him when he was building the tray on all time adventures, TikTok, And, um, I was like, dude, this is sick. And then I had to follow my personal, like just the mm. just second all-time adventures, four by four TikTok account because it's just mine. Yep. Um, and I've just had to follow him again because I was just like, dude, this is just sick content. Yeah. I need more of it. <laughs> okay. <It's> so <laughs> Give me more. Yeah. No, that's, so they're the rigs of the week. So you got Life of the Cromies and GU Trippin'. So is, they'll, uh, be, yeah. they'll be linked below as well. So go check their accounts out. Go check them out. Um, where are we up to? I've got one last video to play, and this is actually sent to me by Andre. Mm -hmm. And I actually got sent this after I lost my account. So, and it's just, yeah, it's a funny fucking, funny but cool, interesting, informational bet, yeah, you sent me this one. Video. Yeah, you sent me this one. Yeah, yeah. So, we'll just, yeah, we'll play it through and, yeah, go for it. Um, hold on, she's loading. I made a video saying that I enjoyed Joe Rogan's podcast. Immediately, I lost 15,000 followers. And I got all these hate comments about, oh, you love guns. I was like, no, no, I like his podcast. It's, oh, you, you're, you're a right wing. I'm like, I don't even understand American politics. I just like his podcast. And <laughs> yeah, then dead one of my clients reached out and said, Vin, take that video down. We can't be seen to be working with someone like you uh, if you're posting this content, especially on LinkedIn. We take it down. I was like, I think it's easier for us not to work together. <laughs> You're changing who I am. Literally is. You're yeah. making me lie to everyone to pretend to be something that I'm absolutely not. And I see this all the time. People are so afraid of what other people think that they will do whatever other people want mm -hmm. and those people don't care about you and they'll forget about you anyway. If you try to please everyone, sell out for it, you yeah. will end yeah. up pleasing no one. 
the person willing to state the truth and be themselves, very powerful. Was the person that allows every other person to dictate what they do, does not have power. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. That's good. The, the thing you said in there was, if you try to please everyone, you'll end up pleasing no one. Exactly. I was like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, and that's that's something we've learned in the last six months is like you can't mm. please everyone, and you've got yeah. to do you got to do your own shit. Yeah. You got to do your own shit. Fucking. Okay. And that's that's what GD is chipping's doing. He's yeah. doing his own shit. And well, we're all doing it. We're all way, doing our own different way. Yep. Yeah. No one's the same. There's a few good things to take out of that. Like, yeah, you you could post something you genuinely love, and you could lose a lot of follow, followers. People could take that down. Yeah, and like we wrote, like, <laughs> and I hate to bring this up, but we wrote our name in the sand June once up at DI and do, we lost like 200 followers in the first hour Yeah, just from writing our name in the June. And we had that many comments of people just like, oh, take it down. You're going to ruin the Junes, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You're driving up the Junes. What's the difference? Yeah. It's, you're ruining them either way. Yeah. So yeah, it, it you just got to do your, whatever makes you happy, you do it. Run you know your own I mean? race. Exactly. hundred yeah. percent. We say that every time on the podcast. Yeah. But no, it's, it's just one of those things like, you know, he's going on in that video where he goes like, you know, it's easier not to work for us not to work together because he doesn't agree with me. Yeah. I'd rather you just unfollow me. It's a true point. There's, there is brands out there. I know right now that would love to work with me. And there's a lot that will not work with me because you know, they don't like what we're doing with something here or something there or who we're associated with. Like, and and don't don't be scared to say no guys to, to brands. Even if you don't like the brand and you just, and you, they're forcing you to run their gear, don't run it. No. If you don't like it, I, you don't I like it. I know I won't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what we that's what we pride ourselves on. If we don't like it, we've tested it. But we'll, we'll tell you. But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to try something Ex- that you've never tried you've before. Never tried before. Yeah. But don't don't be afraid to speak the truth on the product if you don't like it. Hundred like percent. I, I know I will. If I've got a product that you know it's a product endorsement or whatever it might be, or it's just a sponsor post for a, a product. If I don't like the product, I'm gonna say it. Yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah. You, Especially sp- when you test it and then it breaks and you're just like. Yeah. Um, mm, it's so it's con- a tricky one. Yeah, it is tricky. It is hard, but yeah, you gotta. But yeah, if, if someone's coming to you and saying, first. "Hey, you've got to," I don't even know if there's there is examples out there of people that's happened to I know of. Yeah. I won't tell their story on it because I don't think it's actually public. But if you're posting content and a brand's telling you to remove it because they don't like what the content is that you're associated with them and that that content, yeah. Is the content worth keeping on your page to get rid of the brand, or is it worth keeping the brand to get rid of the content? Mm. Like That's, it's, yeah. it's a tough one, and I suppose it comes down to personal situation, what it is. Like, if it's really good content, I'm probably going to keep it up on my page, depending on the brand that it is. Like, it's a hard topic. Yeah, so, yeah. but also not selling out for it. No, it's, yeah, it's, it's it's easy to see when someone does sell out, like. We're, we're in the position of the industry. Like if you see a post by us clearly advertising a brand, there's a reason behind it. And it's because we support those brands. Yeah. Like I've done things for like obviously Luke and Hanson's Media and all that and heaps of other brands that I'm involved with. Like J-Max have had their fair share of like, I just keep pumping J-Max because I love their brand. They love what I'm doing. Yeah. They're fucking awesome people. And they are. They're awesome. I, I will just keep pumping J-Max, pumping J-Max, pumping J-Max doesn't mean I hate every other brand out there. It doesn't mean I'm biased against every other brand. You just prefer... It's I'm supporting a brand that's supporting me. Yeah, exactly. Of course, there's, there's probably an opportunity for me out there to go flip to another brand, but I'm not going to... It's what you'd let's like. Let's say go jump preference. to another brand yeah. because, well, 70 series related, I'm going to be stuck with J-Max. I, I just love their brand. That's yeah. the way it is. Yeah. But if I was going to build the hottest of hot shit, G-U-U to G-Q or whatever it might be, I'm going to go to someone like your Dobinsons or Superior, Superior or yeah. J-Race or someone like that or for anything like that. Are J-Race more Nissan, aren't they? I the I whole Toyota, oh, they're more Hilux. They do a bit, of everything. Bit, a bit about everything. But yeah. I mean, like Ironhide Customs, there's so many brands out there. I'm not going to... I don't see as J-Max as their brand is... They're not associated with like the GUs and the GQs and all that sort of stuff. They're mainly Toyotas, aren't it's they? It's somewhere down the line. Yeah. They probably would, but yeah. they're in the GVM upgrades towing side of things and all that the sort big of dogs. stuff called conversions. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's always a time and place for everything. But that's where if I come to getting a GQ or GU or whatever it might be down the line, I'm going to put the feelers out there. If I went to this brand and I liked it, I'm going to say I liked it. Yeah. If I went to this brand and it was shit, I'm going to say, look, it was shit. I've decided to change here. That's all. You don't have to bag them out for what it was and this Yeah, no. just be but, nice, be peaceful and just... I don't like your stuff, yeah, sorry. And I've tested piece. it. Yeah, yeah. Just finding peace with it and 
walk away from them. That's it. Yeah. So, no, it was, it was an interesting little um, video that yeah Andre sent me, and that was by Achieve More Co. Is the Instagram name? I've been watching a bit of their shit lately. They yeah. just got like, would you just call them like life? motivation quotes all that sort of shit yeah it's only a small account i think but i'll click on it and see what it like a couple of thousand followers but every day they're just posting up reels and yeah just different things about whatever. life just life. life in general yeah yeah so no that was yeah that was a good little some, video to end cool. the episode yeah yeah so no we're we're back now gonna start the next few weeks i think i'm up seeing andre this weekend are you going up you going up yeah. there are you Cool. So, cool. well, he's coming down. I don't know what the fuck's actually happening. Well, he said he was coming down the 29th, he might, wasn't he? I think he might be coming down this Thursday or Friday. The, he's got a bit when, of shit to do. So, yeah. we, might, we might even get him. Friday pot- 29th, I think. Yeah. So, maybe a potty next week with Andre. Yeah. And then I want to start. I've got a few guests lined up. So, we've got to we do? Book, book dates. Yep. All that. So, while I've been in Bali, I've just been messaging, talking to people. So Sick. Yeah. You're going you're gonna to see some. Cool guest and different things like that come up. <laughs> it's just in the right time. Like everyone's busy. Everyone's so yeah. It's lining up a time where I'm not working, they're not working, or they're not well, too they're busy not at away. their job, or yeah. they're not away. And I mean, some are in the Gold Coast, some are in Sydney, some are in Brisbane, some are around the sunny coast. Like so, there's people everywhere. It's just trying to make everything meet at the same time. So yeah, yeah, definitely. But there is so many people like just around the sunny coast that still want to talk to, still want to get their story, and. Like it made me think of it then. I, I wrote it down in my phone. Was um, Logan Moss? Mm. We, like, just eighty content. All his TikTok. He's got Wheel in there. He's got Wheel like in his now, brand. Yeah, yeah he's got he'd, his he'd brand. He'd be a good one to talk to. Just sit down. 100%. And, so yeah, I've added him to the list of notes to reach out to him. And he'll probably, if he's listening to this, maybe your buddy reach out to me as well and go, wait, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. He might not want to. So, but, I don't know. But I know what I'm gonna. I'm yeah. looking at one of those wheeling jumpers because I fucking love them. It's a sick, it's a sick brand. jumper. Hey, yeah. it's a it's sick. Wheeling, and especially so. on the snow. Yeah, so he's got a giveaway. So go check his giveaway yeah, out. Yeah, go check his giveaway out. Yeah, but if you want to hear someone on the potty, you want to hear their story, whatever it might be, email um, us. Not let us well, know. Send it to them. Yeah, send it. Send yeah, it to them. So we want to hear yeah. you on the potty. Yeah. So if you keep pestering them, they're gonna they're gonna eventually reach out to us as well. One hundred percent. Look, there's. There's only places to build from and someone to t- somewhere for them to tell their story and long form content that they can share back, whatever it might be. Yeah. Um, the more we get, the more we can just be organized with it, get some questions out for them and yeah. Keep um, growing from here. That's it. The more yeah. no- more notice we get for a guest, we can bang up some questions on social 100%. media for you on both yeah. channels and yeah, go from there. So no, it's bloody ripper. So not bad for a first episode back, eh? Oh, I thought that said two hours almost. No, no, no. Is that an, what? <laughs> Hour 16. Oh, so. cool, cool, cool. No, we sort of ripped through that, really. Did we? Yeah. <laughs> well, it went quicker than it I thought. It went quicker than I thought it was going to go. Yeah. yeah, definitely. No, buddy, appreciate everyone that's yeah listening, watching, following, liking, subscribing, all the good shit. All the good stuff. We appreciate you. So. Yeah, we do love it. Yeah. Love the sport, guys. It's Yeah, it's it's given us a good little passion. So. Yeah. No, I probably I'll, sound like hell cronky. Yeah. <laughs> no, we'll be right. so blocked. Yeah, that season of bloody getting crook. Hey, I was so good. I was like, yeah, I yeah. said it the other day too. I was like, yep, Friday, I am, I've been pretty good. I haven't got a cold this season. Yeah. Next minute, yeah, bang. Go to a wedding yeah. in an hour. Yeah. Got a head cold. Oh, legends. Buddy, Yew. this has been Macro Matt. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. You. Thanks, guys. Shake and bake. Woo. Shake and bake. <laughs>